Hello, I am Scope, and I'm going to show you how to install Windows, win specifically Windows 11, in a dual boot situation on your Steam Deck. Uh, I have the 64 gigabytes version of the Steam Deck, so there's not a lot of room on there anyway. Uh, I've seen a lot of people install Windows on an SD card or on an external hard drive. Uh, I don't believe ex installing Windows on an SD card is such a good idea, because... Um, well, you're likely to kill the SD card rather quickly, in my opinion, but you do what you want to do, it's up to you. Um, installing on an external hard drive is fine, I, I was running a, on an external hard drive at some point. Um, I was having some problems with it, but uh, I actually put that down to my USB-C <coughs> adapter, which um, Valve seems to have fixed with some software updates. But anyway, we're going to get to it. So if you follow my last video, you would have seen that I moved my home partition on my Steam Deck on the Steam OS <clears throat> to an SD card which freed up 40 about 47 gigabytes of space on my internal hard drive which isn't a lot of space but it's enough just enough for Windows so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my Windows desktop PC and I'm going to download the Windows media creation tool I'm not going to use any tricks here like using Rufus and using the Windows to go um, setting I'm just going to come to Microsoft directly and download the Windows Media Creation Tool, Windows 11 installation media. And I'm going to download this. And once that's downloaded, you're just gonna to have to run it and wait until it says go, accept the license. Read the license if you really want to. <laughs> Does anybody? And I'm just gonna do the default settings, which is English and Windows 11 and a USB flash drive. And I'm just going to use this SD card, which I've got in a USB card reader. And then just click next and wait until everything installs. So now that you've run the creation tool, you should now have the installation on your flash drive or your SD card, whichever you've chosen to do. And then you're going to need to come to your Steam Deck. And of course, first you're going to need to turn it off. So apologies for the crap view, but I'm my capture card cannot capture this, so we'll just have to <laughs> deal with it like this. So I have indeed put the SD card with the installation media directly into the deck, and it does seem to work. So we need to come down to EFI SD MC uh, MMC and click Enter. This may take some time, but eventually it will pop up and it will be sideways, unfortunately. <laughs> And here you just need to select your language and your keyboard settings, etc, etc. I'm doing this with a mouse and keyboard for convenience. You should probably be able to do this with a touchscreen, but I'll try and press the buttons on the touchscreen just, just to make sure it does work. It certainly does. Install now. And then just wait for setup. So the first thing you're going to see is Windows asking for an activation key. For the moment you can click I don't have a product key. Um, I went through this installation and it never asked me for one again, but I do have probably several <laughs> spare licenses on my account when I signed in. So it's probably took one of those, but I have seen reports from other people who've installed Windows that it doesn't actually ask you again for an activation code. So it's quite possible that the deck already has one built into it. But your mileage may vary. I don't know if it does come with one, and I'm, I don't know if it's just taken one from my account, because I certainly do have one or two spare on my account. And then from here, just click Windows Home, set the license, and click Custom Install. So from here, you need to find the partition that you want to install it on. And if you follow my previous guide, then you will have 47 gigabytes free. So it's probably partition 8. Windows does say that you need at least 52 gigabytes free however it seems to install perfectly fine so there we go windows is installed and the first thing you'll notice is the screen is a bit sideways so you're going to want to change that so simply right click on the screen or if you're um, using the touch screen i think you can just hold yep and then you can click display settings. There you go. And you're going to want to come to orientation and go to the landscape and then keep those changes. And there we go. 
Ooh, that's a bit weird. No, it's gone. So, we're now in Windows, and now that you're here, you're going to need to come to Microsoft Edge, because it's the only browser currently installed, and we're going to search for, I'll put the link in the description for this, so you don't have to search for it, the Steam Deck Windows drivers. And here it is. A oh, reject Steam Deck Windows resources. I will put this in the description and just simply download all these things. Uh, the most important one is going to be the GPU driver. And once you've downloaded all of those or some of those, this is the GPU driver. If you right click it and click extract and then just extract it to wherever it defaults to, and then wait until that happens. Also, I've just realized that it already detects the SD card, so it seems that the Windows 11 has got most of these drivers already, apart from the GPU drivers, otherwise <laughs> probably wouldn't have been able to continue installing Windows in the first place. So you probably only need the GPU drivers. So now that's extracted, just open it up and run setup, and then just click install. And so there we go, the GPU drivers are installed. All the other drivers seem to already be here, so I'm not going to bother installing them. So now I'm just gonna open up File Explorer and we can see how much space we have left. So we have 17.9 gigabytes free from that install. Now at this point, I was going to run a Windows 11 D bloater to remove some of the things I might not need and maybe free up some space, but to be honest, I'm a little bit distrustful because I have not read the code. I'm not really a PowerShell sort of person. I much prefer Bash. So um, I have decided not to run the debloater. Perhaps you will want to, but um, I am just going to install some, uninstall some things manually. So first thing is I'm just going to control delete and go to task manager. And then I'm going to come to startup and disable some things. I've already disabled uh, Cortana, because, yeah. Uh, I will disable OneDrive, and I will disable Teams, and I guess I need to keep Ed, well, actually, it doesn't need to be there by default, does it? Disable everything, Windows Security. I'm just gonna remove this crap manually. All right, what, do we, what don't we need? Let's have a look. Name, size. <coughs> OneDrive, uninstall that, uninstall that crap. Ooh, Solitaire collection, definitely keeping that. I've got to keep Solitaire. Have we got Solitaire in here? Let's have a look. Like Solitaire, let's have a play. Oh, let's do this. Oh, I've got to sign into my bloody Xbox account. <laughs> got to play. Need an Xbox account to play Solitaire. Oh, what? Coins, no, 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 go away, no, yep, you're getting uninstalled, screw you. And of course, you're probably going to want Steam, so let's find Steam, uh, Steam powered, isn't it? Let's come to Steam, install Steam. So we now have Steam installed, and as you can see here, we don't have a lot of space. So we are going to need to use an SD card. So I'm using a Samsung Evo Plus 512 gigabytes, and I'm gonna stick that in the Steam Deck. I think by default, this is formatted to um, XFAT. So I want to change this to NTFS, to be honest. So keep that as the defaults, and I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it... Let's call it SD. In fact, I'm going to get lowercase. SD. Give it a format. Format complete. Close this. And then I'm going to come to Steam. And I'm going to come to Settings. Downloads, Steam Library folder. I'm going to click a plus here, 
and I want it to use my external drive. I'm going to add. I'm going to come to this triple dot and make the SD card the default. I'm never going to install anything on the C drive. The C drive is just going to be for both my OSs and probably, well, Steam, uh, probably Ubisoft launcher and whatever else that maybe that squeezes onto this. I think ideally you would want a 1 to 8 drive in here, minimum. 64 gigabytes is not really enough for just one OS. So having two OSs on here is pushing it just a, a little bit. But the way I've got mine set up, that's fine. I'm quite happy just using the SD card. I don't know how to get to little picture, but I think there is a way. But you can always just use big picture. Which seems to work fine with the Steam controller. We're well, not Steam controller, the deck controls. And even the touchscreen works fine. So there we go. And that's Steam installed. <laughs> what the hell is that? And you can buy any games you want. I'm not going to judge you, but I'm definitely not going to play that. And another thing you're going to probably want to do is you're going to come down to the taskbar here and touch keyboard turn that to on so that it's always here in the bottom corner so then if you are trying to use just the touch screen and this keyboard doesn't pop up then you can just do this and there it is and type 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 so <laughs> so crash bandicoot has installed now then I'm going to try and play and see if the controls work. Let's see. So there we have it. Windows is installed and Crash Bandicoot is running and the gamepad seems to be running fine. Uh, there are some tools to get the gamepad working in other stores, which I will try out later. I think it's called GLaDOS or something similar. I'll put a link to it below. So when I first installed Windows, uh, it had a bit of trouble getting back into Windows or into the Steam OS. So to solve that, Basically, when I turned it on, I went to the boot manager again, which is by holding the volume down button and powering on and then selecting the Windows boot. And uh, after that, it seemed to sort itself out. It automatically now boots into Windows each time. So to boot back into SteamOS, we just shoot down Windows. And in my case, insert the SD card, which has got our home drive for SteamOS on. And now to boot back into the Steam OS, we're going to have to hold down the volume down button and on again. Oh, and it actually captures this screen now. It didn't before, so that's nice. And just select Steam OS from the boot menu. And here we are. We're back in Steam OS. And so we have successfully dual booted. And to get back to Windows, we just simply need to restart. And that should automatically put us back into Windows. And here we are again, back into Windows. So we have successfully set up dual boot on a 64 gigabyte Steam Deck. Like I say, it's not ideal to do that, but it's workable. You might be asking yourself then, why not just install Windows 11 without SteamOS, just completely get rid of the SteamOS? Well, at the bare minimum, you're gonna need to keep SteamOS just for the firmware updates. The firmware updates have brought a lot of improvements like stability, uh, use of the SD card for launching OSs. So yeah, keep SteamOS, even if you're not going to use it. You probably should use it. It's, it is a nice operating system, but for compatibility, I think having both is great. And now it's time for me to run some tests. So I'm going to be busy running some benchmarks and things for the next day or so. But yeah, thanks for watching. And I hope this helped. If you've got the bigger size Steam decks, you're going to have a lot better success with dual booting and having actual games on the internal drive. With the 64 gigabytes, the, the space is pretty much useless anyway to install AAA games. Like, I couldn't even install Shadow of the Tomb Raider, a free four-year-old game, without SteamOS complaining. You know, one update, and then that just killed, <laughs> killed the game install because there wasn't enough space for it to install, so it just broke. So, yeah, keep all your games on the SD cards. And just use the internal drive just for both of the OSs, basically. That's going to work for me. I'm happy with that. Thank you for watching. Laters.
I should get back to the video, really, shouldn't I? <clears throat>